August 8, 2005 Jesus I send the greatest graces of courage to all who read these words. My children in the world can become discouraged and sad. Dearest little ones, if you are this way, you must come to me and rest your worries in my heart. I do not like to see you sad, even though life can be difficult. You feel you are alone and that is part of the reason why you feel such sadness. But you are never alone because I never leave you. To leave you would be acting against my very nature and such a thing isn't possible. I am with you now, as you read these words, and I minister to your wounded heart with graces of love and courage. Continue on and I will send you relief. I have told you this and you must believe me. It would also be acting against my nature to tell an untruth so you may believe me and trust me when I say this to you. I will send you relief. Bring all of your sadness to me. Pour it out to me. I will listen and I will continue to listen for days and days and on into eternity if necessary. I have the time, my beloved apostle. I am not too busy to listen to you. You may cry if you wish. I assure you, when I lived upon the earth, I also cried. Pain is unavoidable until you arrive in heaven. You are not the only one who suffers in this way. There are many people in the world today who are suffering the same sadness you are feeling. Your world does not always nourish souls. Only I, the Divine Healer, can heal you. I can give you nourishment that will set your soul alight again. Come to me in all trust. Be patient, while I see to your wounds and hurts. You did not become sad like this in a moment. Come to me all throughout your day and allow me to help you carry this heavy cross of sadness.